Mississippi State at Kentucky. That's right, Lexington night game, a lot of fun. Looks like Will Levis is going to play now. Uh, this line is currently sitting at four. <coughs> excuse me, excuse me. Um, so at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time, SEC Network, Kentucky is a four-point underdog at home to Mississippi State. Let's go on and pull up the numbers. And that's not the right one. There we go. Okay, so uh, it was all the way up to eight and a half at some spots. It has dropped all the way to four. A lot of line movement based on the fact that Will Levis uh, could play, right? It, like they they anticipate him playing. Uh, looking at the trends, the home team in this matchup is eight and zero oh against the spread in the last eight. Mississippi State six and one against the spread against winning teams in their last seven. They are five and two against the spread uh, in their last seven on the road. Kentucky. 0 and 4 against the spread after a straight up loss. They lost to South Carolina last week. However, they are 19 5 and 2 against the spread against winning teams. That is insane. Last 26 games, they've covered 19 of them and they've uh, pushed two of them. So, what do the numbers tell us? Looking at this, number 21 PPA per pass on offense for Kentucky. Well, it turns out that Mississippi State can defend that pretty well and they do it a lot. They, they have to defend 57% passes. Uh, from from opposing teams, partly because the other team is in a hole because Mississippi State has gotten into some pretty big leads here. But the defensive passing game for Mississippi State is really, really good. Uh, they're number 25 in passing success rate. They're number 15 in PPA per pass. In Kentucky, 21 in PPA per pass on offense, 26 in PPA per pass success rate. Uh, that, that looks like... It, if you're Kentucky... You're going to try and do something else to maybe get that secondary off of your guys a little bit. Um, but Zach Arnett is doing a fantastic job with this defense. Uh, Kentucky's offensive line is pretty good. Uh, okay, that's a lie. They're number 92 in Havoc rate allowed. They're number 98 in stuff rate allowed. They're number uh, uh, 78 in offensive line yards in the running game. Like They cannot run the football. They're, they're just not good at that. Um on top of that, as far as the defense goes for Kentucky, they're pretty good. There's a lot of things to like about this Kentucky defense. Uh, they're number 19 PPA per pass allowed. Uh, Mississippi State throws the ball a ton. Doesn't matter because Kentucky has defended a ton of passes. Um, I think that... Boy, this is a strange one. This is really a strange one. Uh, the Kentucky defense, I think, can keep them in the ball game. Uh, the biggest issue here is Kentucky, I think, is more likely to turn the football over than Mississippi State is. This looks like a different level of Mississippi State team than we are used to. Uh, Will Levis, even if he comes back in this game, is going to have problems. Like, he is still not 100%. I look at this. Uh, field position favors Mississippi State. Um, yeah, there's, there's a lot to like here as far as state is concerned. Turnover margin... Uh, penalties per game certainly favors Kentucky, uh, but you know State is, gets aggressive on defense. And sometimes that actually helps. Sometimes those, those penalties are okay. I'm going to lean State here, especially now that this number has has come all the way back down to four. Uh, I didn't like it so much at eight and a half, obviously, because I mean you see, uh, mine is my number's nearly six in favor of State. I'm going to take Mississippi State to cover the four. I uh I think they're I think they're a really really good football team. I don't think it necessarily matters that Will Levis is going to be back at quarterback because he still makes mistakes too. So give me the Bulldogs to cover on the road at Kentucky. There. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter at Gary WCE, and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.